President Kennedy leaves the White House for a flight to Atlantic City to address the Auto Workers Convention. And he makes the trip aboard a brand new jet-propelled helicopter. The new craft is capable of 150 miles an hour and can carry 10 passengers, a higher speed and a greater capacity than his older one. In Atlantic City, he is roundly applauded by delegates to the United Automobile Workers' Convention as he is introduced by Walter Ruther. In the wake of his tilt with the steel industry over price rises, he has this to say about the presidency. As long as the United States is the great and chief guardian of freedom, all the way in a great half circle from the Brandenburg Gate to Vietnam, as long as we fulfill our functions at a time of climax in the struggle for freedom, then I believe it is the business of the President of the United States to concern himself with the general welfare and the public interest. And if the people feel that it is not, then they should secure the services of a new President of the United States. He asked labor to hold the line, but the auto workers will seek new pay increases. 